Okay, so I'm not sure if this is actually working, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Or even what it looks like. I guess I can't see it. But, um, I realized I got a camera for Christmas. Christmas, yeah, it was Christmas. And I have been updating from mine. It's probably really shaky. I'm gonna sit back and not touch the table. Um, so I've been updating from my computer, which is a Mac. It's a little bit of MacBook Pro. Um, currently I'm using it to watch Mob Lives, because it is a fantastic TV show, if you're ever bored. Um, you'll never be bored. Uh, so today, let's see what it happens. I know I said that I started the musculoskeletal system a while ago. That's finished up, actually. Um, that wasn't so bad. The final was rough. I know a lot of people that failed it. Oh my god, just so much. Um, okay, so in... And so then, you know, the following week and a half is we've been spent in neuro. Uh, basic neuroscience, basic neuroanatomy. Uh, not a lot of the clinical side yet because it's just, there's so much crap in the brain that, I don't know, I hate neuro. It's just such a pain. There's so much crap to do, so much stuff to memorize. Uh, so neuro is kicking my butt. We had our quiz today uh, in the class, and everybody I know literally got an F. I don't know anybody who got higher than a 65, I think was the highest grade, um, going around talking about it, but there was a group component and like a fill in the blank component too, to everything. So that became, you know, that kind of boosts everybody's grade a little bit. Um, I myself got 50%, so, uh, so everyone's kind of demotivated right now. Uh, med school's really getting everybody, especially now that the weather's getting nicer, because I go to school up in the north, um, and we're like mid-March and we're now seeing beautiful weather. We're seeing sunshine, it's in the 60s. This past week it was St. Patrick's Day, so everybody was downtown at the parade outside. So nobody, I mean, I granted, probably everyone should have been indoors studying for this stupid test, but nobody did. Uh, so we all paid the price for it today, and so now everybody's like trying to gun really hard to make sure that we all get, do really well on the actual exam, which is like a week and a half away. Uh, up until now, they're just cramming information into our head. So everyone's just kind of been Today was a bad day for a lot of people. I'm, I'm not in the best of moods, but I got an, uh, had an exam Monday, I did really well on, so I was happy with that when I got that grade back after getting back my 50% today, um, so whatever. So, little known fact, we were learning about different types of stressors in our stupid, um, in a stupid class, and we've learned that, you know, this whole feeling that I have all the time, that you're gonna have, hopefully, uh, hopefully you won't, but hopefully sometimes it's gonna happen, is the, feeling of, oh my god, I got a B, you know, I'm not going to be a doctor, I'm going to fail, my friends are doing better than me, I should give up now, I should just go home, retire, whatever. Uh, that is actually called overgeneralization, and it is a very common stress anxiety amongst individuals. And if you're comparing yourself to other people, um, I forget what the other, one, the other one's called, because that, that self was like in one ear out the other, because it's not relevant to my board, it's not relevant to my career. Um, Anything like that. Overgeneralization. Well, I don't know that we're like you compare yourself. It's regard regardless. Anyway, I'm on a night. I'm on track. So I'm trying really hard to study tonight. I'm not studying that hard. As you can see, I'm watching Mob Wives. Uh, but that's about it. Uh, there really isn't much to neuro yet, other than there's a million and a half parts. Start early and get a top, um, start early and get on it ahead of time, real fast. And because it's very easy to fall behind. You take one night off and you suddenly don't know anything. Or you think you know everything, you study the night before for the exam, you do really well in the online quizzes, and then you take the test today and you fail, and it's just bad at the end. But that's just, you know, overgeneralizing, that's just me for generalizing the situation. So I don't even know if this is even gonna be a good video, because I haven't been able to see since the beginning. So if this is, gets discarded, whatever. If not, um, I'm gonna update it probably either tomorrow or the next day, depending. Sorry, I thought I heard something coming in, but my window's open, so who knows what it is. Um, and I'm going to do, <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to do the cinema challenge because I want to prove to you all that's a retarded idea as a medical student. Um, we're going to discuss the science behind it, but we're not really going to do that. Um, I'm just going to do the cinema challenge because I've wanted to do it for the longest time. And now that people like Lozell, Jenna Marbles, and Miranda Sings have all jumped on the cinema challenge game, I'm going to do it too. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be nearly as famous because I'm not going to do it with a soup ladle. As, um, as Glozell has done. So I'll put the link in the descriptive box so I can never figure out how to do that. 
Uh, so you can see what the cinnamon challenge is like with the soup ladle as opposed to the teaspoon that you're supposed to use in everyday life. Other than that, um, I think that's everything I wanted to say. You know, it's giving you a basic life update of where I'm at. Uh, it's just, uh, blah. sorry, it's taking me a long to get back to y'all. I, I noticed I actually lost a subscriber because I get really excited that I have like, you know, three people who follow me on YouTube. Um, but I used to have four, and I logged on like two days ago and I only have three again. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have to start updating more frequently, maybe not. Uh, but, okay, that's it. So, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to get back to studying by that and my boys. All right.